Uh, good afternoon. You can hear me, right? My connection is a bit. Okay. It's not going to be a long tutorial, so we're going to go through how to create data profile in your type of So let me first my, share my screen. It's visible, right? Just one yeah, good image. You can see the screen. Hello, can you see my screen? Oh. Sorry. Okay, thank you again. Um, let's go with the slide presentation. So when you come to your profile page, not only for get for any profile page for you than any other, the purpose is to tell your story of your work. For GitHub, your repository's work that you are interested in, the contribution you have made, the conversion you have had, one can get this information by just looking at your profile page. So that is the purpose. What things you should include on your GitHub Bureau profile? The first thing would be the readme file for your profile. Uh, pin for base projects. You have to pin your paste projects. You need to have a bio. Uh, it's optional, but it's recommended just to give some perspective of what uh, work 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 line you are. Uh, it would have to give a bio, only 160 characters, location, optional. Uh, if you have a portfolio site, you can include those. Uh, again, it's optional, but recommended. If you have demo link for your project, you should put that as well. We'll see where you should put your demo link and uh, add eye-catching description of your project report. So, Uh, the key is to let your personal show on your profile. So your kit does have to be formal like LinkedIn. It could be fun. Usually, most of the profiles you've seen them, they are more like friendly than formal. So it's not expected to be in that formal with GitHub. If you are, it's okay, but it's not that much expected. Uh, it's also just saying, I would suggest personally to start simple. You don't have to have this big GitHub profile with, with a lot of is attractive uh, components inside of it. You can start simple and as you go along, the more projects that you have, you can improve it eventually in the future. So, for our data profiles, you can make them private and public. As I suggested, if you make a private, people will not be able to see your profile. If you make public, it will be accessible by everyone. So, make sure uh, your profile is public considering you are on the job searching phase, going to be on the job searching phase. So this kind of information will be hidden from others. Your achievement, your activity, contribution, followers, organization membership, people have one stars, project issues, everything that interact with your new project will be hidden. So make sure to make them public. So here I have put the most inspiration profile designs around the world, which you can go to the link and see there are different project, I mean, uh, GitHub profile there. There's also a reference in this particular site, if you, the Queen of the State, we will say it later. Uh, it's where you can find this attractive GitHub uh, widgets or component that you can put on your readme. So you can get displayed on your uh, GIS profile. So with this one, this is just a simple introduction. If we go to this side, you can find different inspirational, different types of usernames. You can just click and see the GitHub profile just to get inspired.
When I finished the tutorial by myself, I just noticed I've been out. When did I lost you? It is like the second time this happened on this batch. When did I? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> when did I lost you? The... You are about to give us to show us a demo. I finished the slide part. You have heard yes. that one? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, let me share again. Really bad internet at the office today. Let's just go through it quickly before I lost it again. Okay, so I was just saying how you can create your readme for your profile is 
just go to create repository then here you should write your username your personal github username uh, make sure it's public then just say create once you create you will get this readme uh, page like any readme github readme and this is where you put markdown language to just showcase your skills give information about the tools that you have used and stuff like that uh, the other thing that i was showing was this one this site the one on the slide that i just showed you the twin.sh here after you sign up with your github username and password you go to your profile here and there's the option say widgets so when you click that one since you are signed up with your GitHub uh, information, it will automatically take to all your GitHub activity information and it will give you these beautiful widgets that you could put on your profile. So what you have to do is just say copy widget code, then go to your readme file here and just say this. Then commit changes and it will be displayed on your GitHub profile after you push your commit. So basically, this is how what a normal GitHub profile page looks like. There is on the left side where you put your name, your position, your bio. Also, be displayed here. This person does, doesn't put, but I would recommend you uh, to put one in your positions. Here, he put his LinkedIn information, Gmail, uh, Medium article. If you have portfolio link, also put that here. Uh, what else is there? And on this side is where the readme information will be displayed. He put his tools that he have used so far with this kind of some attractive way of putting these links. Uh, again, uh, he's on. He used table to see his source code project he has involved in. Uh, there are a lot of inspiration on this site that I put here on this one. Uh, you can check out other people's work as well just to get inspired a lot of people's username are found here just to showcase what a good fact uh, awesome github profiles so refer on those and just come up with cool way to represent but then again you can just put a simple github profile it would be okay for uh, you you will uh, improve it eventually at the future uh, the other thing that I want to mention is if you go to my GitHub profile, here is this is for example the tool that I put on my profile, the tools I have put them like this one. Uh, for this kind of user, I have put also references where you can include those. You can check out on the slide the references here. Uh, if you have a project that you that's based then you can just click the customize your piece button here, and all your GitHub repo pages, which are the ones that are public, will be displayed. So pick, uh, it, it only gives you, I think, six. Uh, projects to show off on your profile so my internet is really bad just pick those and pin them on your profile so once you pin them just the idea let's not waste time here just pin projects here and on your project there should be some description for anyone who's in your profile doesn't have to go through your uh, code to understand what it does just give a simple uh, description like this description just to indicate what kind of so that if, if the one person is interested in what you wrote in your student they can go on so just for your employers and just for uh, hrs who are checking your github profile they can just read and understand uh, what you have done they don't have to go through that so if you go through this project make sure to pin them and structure them like this way with description and we will put the description uh we'll take let's see one of the projects the internet mm -hmm. 
So, you go to the project that you consider best uh, created project. Make sure there is a readme for the installation and everything, especially on this training program. Uh, all the food that you have done is the one that you will put on your resume as well when you go into the job searching phase. So make sure that readme is well written. There is an installation option and everything like that. This is where the description you have to put for this particular project. So for this particular project, the one you see on my GitHub profile, this is a description written. So when you click this setting uh, icon, there is a description box. This is where you put uh, small, I think 160 or 100 character, it would, or it doesn't have a limitation. Maybe I don't know, but just put here the description, it's just a best description about what the project does. If there's a demo that you posted on YouTube or something else, you can put the demo for this particular project here on this link. If you have topics you want to as a tag, you can include them, then save changes. Okay. Save changes. So one, on, when you go to your profile page, it will be displayed as a description on the pinned projects. So that's how you have to uh, include your repo, I mean, your bio. So I think we covered this one. We see the readme, pinned best projects. The location, yeah, the description is the one that I just showed you. So this is about it. Okay, I think it's pretty clear. Uh, is, is it clear what you should have to do for the next phase of your training? Yeah, I think most of you already covered this one on your GitHub profile. Uh, you can make it better, and for those who are new, just follow this tutorial as well. Okay, so if no more questions, we can end the tutorial. You can, you guys can go back to your work. Okay, great. Yes, Travis. Uh, is there any news about the extension? Yeah, I don't. Uh, okay, just give me one minute. 